Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about custom skincare. The brand Mix Easy reached out to me to see if I wanted to try a couple of their products and of course being a skincare fan and skincare user, I happily said yes. It always seems like you have multiple issues you want to address and various things that you can't always achieve in just one single product. So I like this idea of customizing to get the benefits that make sense for you and your skin type. So the two products I picked out was their face mask and eye cream. So for the face mask, I started off by choosing my skin type. I chose the normal slash combination option because I feel like my skin usually sits in that area these days. I also have acne prone skin, dark spots, and acne scarring. I've also dealt with sensitivity in the past. I'm also getting old, so there's a lot going on. From here, you can choose up to five natural ingredients to customize your skincare. And to be honest, when I was doing this part, I felt really overwhelmed because they give you a lot of options and a lot of information about what each ingredient does. I chose ingredients that would help mostly with blemishes, helping to keep my skin clear, and of course, to soothe and hydrate. Pomegranate extract aids tissue regeneration, helps to heal micro-damaged, acne-scarred skin. Echinacea extract that has the ability to reduce pore size. Arnica extract, known for its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, helps to treat acne, combat the appearance of breakouts and blemishes. Apple fruit extract helps skin cells to retain water, minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Chamomile extract restores, comforts, and hydrates the skin. It also gave me a choice in fragrance for my mask, so I chose the sunlight dance option, but you can also choose fragrance free if you prefer. And if you want, you can name your unique formula. I named this one clear skin for days. Masks are typically a weekly treatment. However, I don't know how often I'm supposed to use this. I'm going to assume one to three times a week and the directions say to apply on clean, dry skin. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It smells really good. It's a little bright and sweet. A little floral, very creamy. I feel like this is probably going to be very hydrating. I feel like a thin, even layer of this would be sufficient. I'm of course avoiding my eyes and my lips. I did go over my eyebrow a bit. I don't see the harm in that. Per the instructions, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and we'll be right back. It says we can either wipe it off dry or we can rinse it off. I'm gonna go ahead and use my face towel dry first and see how I like it. And if I feel like it's too heavy on my skin, then I'll rinse it off. I guess the remainder would just absorb into my skin, but I don't know guys, I'm not really loving how this feels. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. I like it so much better. While you can't visibly see a difference, at least I don't think you can, my skin does feel nice and soft and smooth. Now let's move on to the eye cream. So just like the mask, you choose your skin type. I chose normal. And again, just like before, you choose up to five key ingredients to customize your product. And because again, I am looking for the anti-aging benefits, I chose key ingredients that reflected this. Floral nectar extract helps support the skin's ability to protect and renew and prevent the signs of aging. Evening primrose extract acts as an anti-aging and protective agent. Dragon's blood extract is nature's alternative to retinol, helps perfect skin and boost antioxidant functions. Ginseng extract stimulates blood circulation and improves oxygen supply. Mulein flower extract boosts skin cell regeneration and production and provides intensive moisture and nourishment. And for the name, I called this one, I feel so young. The instructions say to use the tip of your ring finger to gently tap and smooth around the eye area. Use morning and night. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but there's like a little visual. It looks like you can lock this. So this is the locked position. Obviously I can't pump it and I can turn it and we're in business. I love that. So applying to the ring finger, which is the most gent, okay. This is more of a gel texture. 
Pretty sure I dispensed way too much, so that would be my bad. You never wanna apply eye products directly on the lid or right under the eye. What you want to do, however, is to follow the natural contour of your eye. And as the product heats up with your skin, the product will spread and go where it needs to. It does feel a little sticky right now, but I think I just have to leave it and let it do its thing for a little bit. I mean, there's not really much I can say about it. It feels good, it's very cooling. Like I've mentioned in previous skincare videos, while you can see instant results with some products, it's really not how it works. I did reach out to Mix Easy to see how long they'll let me test out these products for the purpose of this review. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in two to four weeks. Hello again. It's been approximately four weeks since I last saw you, and today I'm here to share with you my final thoughts. Overall, I think the idea of custom skincare, whether that's a mask, eye cream, face wash, etc., I think it's a really fun, cool, and unique idea. I also like how you're able to name your formula and give it that extra personal touch. I like the look and feel of the packaging, and with both products, a little bit goes a long way. Starting with the face mask, this was my clear skin for days. I think it smells great. It has a nice creamy texture, kind of like a moisturizer. I know in my first impression I used that silicone spatula brush, but honestly, it doesn't really work well. I think using your clean fingers to apply a thin, even layer is the best way to go. And it's overall a pretty low maintenance mask. I think it's great for someone who doesn't have a lot of time. This is definitely a moisture mask first and anything else second. But with that being said, it might be a little too much moisture for me right now. When I started using these products, it was still like that late summer time. Just recently started to cool down in the last week or so. So as the weather gets colder in the fall and winter time, this mask might work a bit better for me. I think it does a nice job with reducing redness and helping to calm and soothe my skin. And my skin does look and feel pretty smooth overall, though I think I think with things like retexturizing and pore minimizing, I think that's just something that's going to improve over time. And while I did still get blemishes here and there, I don't think the mask made anything worse, though I can't say it really helped my acne either. Moving on to the eye cream, which I named I Feel So Young. So similar to the face mask, the eye cream, albeit a gel, is very hydrating. It does feel a bit sticky after you apply it, but eventually it will settle and absorb into the skin. I do think the very, very, very fine lines around my eyes have softened. My biggest gripe with this product is the packaging. Now I do like that you can turn and lock the nozzle that's great for traveling. However, if you were to fully press down, it would dispense way, way, way too much product. I'll show you exactly what I use for both eyes. That's it, compared to what it actually gives you. If you are curious about creating your own custom skincare products, you can use my code to get 15% off. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Mix Easy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and subscribe to my channel, Tara for Your Wellness, for more videos like this and other fun things. And until next time, please take care and stay well. Bye.